Hello, good day and welcome to today's class. Today we shall be looking at swords, how to simplify swords, how to solve so many questions on that sword. My name is Kabiru Abdul Kadir, and then we have to make progress. Now the first thing first is what is a sword? Now, swords are numbers left in square root form or sometimes they can be in cube root form. Now we have some examples here, root 8, root 12, root 100, 3 root 75, and so on and so forth. So now, but before you know how to solve sword related problems very well, then you have to take note of some of the rules here. We have four very important rules. Now the first one is if P is multiplying Q under the same root, now it is allowed for you to separate two of them, give each one its root, and then they are multiplying. Now the second one now is if P is dividing Q and they are sharing the same root, it is allowed for you to give each one its root, then divide the two of them. That's root P divided by root Q. This is very much allowed. Now the one that is not allowed now is when we have root P plus Q, it is not allowed for you to separate everyone. No. Don't say root P plus root Q. No, it doesn't work that way. Now, the fourth one is when you have P minus Q, don't say root P minus root Q. It's not allowed. Now, let us look at simple simplification of sorts. The first one is when you have root 108, how do I simplify this? Now, this is what you are going to do. You are going to multiply two numbers. Find two numbers that when you multiply, you get 108. But those two numbers are very, very important that one of them should be a perfect square, while the second one should not. In the case of 108, now we have 9 multiplying 12. You can see that 9 is a perfect square, while 12 is not. That is how it should be. So now, based on our rules that we looked at earlier on, it is allowed that when the two of them are multiplying, you can give each one its own. So at the end of the day, you have root 9 multiplying by root 12. So what is root 9 times root 12? You get 3 root 12. So root 12 can also be broken down by having 4 by 3. That's 4 times 3. That means root 12, you have 4 times 3. 3 is outside. So they are sharing the same root. So you can give each one its own. So you have root 4 multiplied by root 3. When you give each one its own, root 4 is 2, and then you have root 3. So 3 times 2 now give us 6 root 3. You are done with the first one. We'll now move on to the second one. We have root 45. Root 45, like I said earlier on, you have to say you get two numbers that when you multiply, you get 45, but let one be a perfect square, why the other one should not. So you have root 9 times root 5. And root 9, we have it to be 3. 3 times root 5, so it's 3 root 5. Now the third one now is root 98. Now root 98, like I said earlier on, you get two numbers that when you multiply, you get 98. Let one be a perfect square, why the other one should not. So you are going to have root 49 times root 2. So root 49 is 7 times root 2 is not, so you leave it that way. So you have... Number four, this is combination of two numbers now, two roots. You have root 45 times root 28. What you have to do is to find two numbers that when you multiply, you have 45. And two numbers also that when you multiply, you have 28. But remember that one should be a perfect square, Why one should not. So nine times five, you can have root nine times root five, root four times root seven. So at the end of the day, you have... 3 root 5 times 2 root 7. So you are going to multiply the ones outside if it is multiplication. So you say 3 times 2, then the, the roots inside can now be multiplied with each other. So you have 5 times 7. So you have 6 root 35. So now we will now move to addition and subtraction of swords. The rule for adding and subtracting swords is that of is that the numbers inside the root must be the same. If the sorts are dissimilar, if they are not the same, then you cannot add or subtract. So now let's look at some few examples here. We have one example which is 3 root 18 plus 3 root 6. 
as you can see root 18 can be simplified you have 9 times 2 but root 6 cannot be simplified because you will not have two numbers that when you multiply you have 6 and 1 is a perfect square no so what you do now is you are going ahead to uh, simplify root 9 root 9 is already 3 and 3 is outside so they will multiply each other so at the end of the day you have 9 root 2 plus 3 root 6 now moving on to another example we have 8 root 8 plus root 50 so now 8 is outside root 8 can be simplified as root 4 times root 2 now plus root 50 can be broken down into 25 times 2 so you have it that way at the end of the day your root 4 will give you 2 your root 25 will give you 5 so you multiply the ones outside you say 8 times 2 you have 16 root 2 plus 5 is not there's no number to multiply 5 with then root 2 so at the end of the day you have 16 root 2 plus 5 root 2 so root 2 and root 2 are now similar so they can be added so you have 16 plus 5 you have 21 then root 2 so moving on to another example you can take a look at this we have 3 root 48 minus root 75 plus 2 root 12 root 48 can be broken down into 16 times 3 75 can be broken down into 25 times 3 now 12 can be broken down into 4 times 3 remember that 1 should be a perfect square 16 is a perfect square here 25 is a perfect square 4 is a perfect square so at the end of the day you can give each one its own root and they are all multiplying so you have uh, 3 root the root square root of 16 is 4 square root of 25 is 5 square root of 4 is 2 so at the end of the day you have 12 root 3 minus 5 root 3 plus 4 root 3 so what you do now is to say 12 minus 5 plus 4 they are the ones outside the root so by the time you do this simple calculation you have 11 and then you say root 3 now we have what we call sword rationalization rationalization is the process of removing square root from the denominator so it is very easy what you have to do is to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the denominator so we have three examples here we have five over root three so you use root three to multiply the numerator you use that same root three to multiply the denominator so at the end of the day you have five root three over root three times root three will give us nine and the square root of nine is three so you have five root three over three you stop there so the second one is eight over root five eight over root five in this case the denominator is root 5 so you use root 5 to multiply the numerator and the denominator so we have 8 multiplied by root 5 over 5 multiplied by root 5 so in this case we have 8 root 5 over 5 times 5 will give us 25 and the square root of 25 is 5 so we have the last one which is 7 over root 2 7 over root 2 root 2 is the denominator so by the time you multiply the numerator and the denominator just like we did in example 1 and 2 we are going to have 7 root 2 over 2 that is how you, you rationalize you can see that in all the examples we have done under rationalization there is no root at the denominator so we have some exercise for you to try and see how you can arrive at the answer number one is 2 root 12 plus 3 root 48 minus root 75 why the second one is 5 root 12 plus 4 root 72 minus 3 root 18 plus 2 root 75 so you do it and let's see what you have if you have further questions on things you don't understand you can always email me at kb